politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, a.k.a. Sula. Well, a very good morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining in on the Buzz UG once again. My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, NTV Uganda's Farid Nakazwe is uh, frustrated with the increasing costs of internet in Uganda every single day. Uh, she said something needs to be done quickly before things get out of hand in this economy. Now, in Uganda, most of the young people use internet to earn a living. Uh, some of them are on TikTok, uh, you know, trying to make money as influencers. Others are feeding off YouTube, uh, which also needs so much data. Now, these young people would have been unemployed if there was no internet. But government is not even considering that. Instead of reducing the cost of data, companies are using the opportunity to make money by increasing data prices. And as someone who uses internet every single day, Farid Nakaz was said there should be a discussion about the costs of data because internet is no longer a luxury but rather a basic need where young and old people learn, as small businesses thrive, information gets accessed very easily and where people receive the very much needed entertainment. Now in other news, uh, State House has withdrawn the official car and police guards from the late John Nagenda's widow, Marion Kalibala Nagenda, two months after his death. Nagenda was a senior presidential advisor on media and public relations. Now, the development shocked the widow because President Museveni had assured her in his condolence message of retaining the vehicle and security. Nagenda was given a vehicle and two police guards, and these guards were taking charge of his security at his home in Muyenka. Now, President Museveni has taken up the responsibility of meeting the medical bills of his former local government minister, Bebekul's father, Jaber Bidan Sali. Uh, Bidan Sali is undergoing periodical treatment over certain ailments right here in Uganda. Uh, reports have also indicated that his complications are related to old age. Now, Bidan Sali served as local government minister before falling out with President Museveni in 2005 over the lifting of term limits from the constitution. As a result, uh, Bidan Sali contested against Museveni for president in 2006 in his People's Progressive Party but lost badly. Now, the two have since reconciled and they are friends. Now, UPDF has confirmed that they are still in possession of the body of Private Wilson Sabiti, the bodyguard who shot and killed State Minister of Labor Charles Engola and later turned the gun on himself and took his own life. It is now 15 days after the tragic incident, but he's yet to be buried. Now, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, the UPDF spokesperson regarding the matter, confirmed that they have the body and uh, they are still investigating the motives and circumstances surrounding Sabiti's death. Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, the latest update this morning on the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.